configuration archive and configuration replace or rollback. The Cisco IOS configuration archive is intended to provide a mechanism to store, organize, manage an archive of Cisco IOS configuration files to enhance the configuration rollback capability provided by the configure uh, replace command. To enhance the configuration rollback capability provided by the provided by the configure replace command. The Cisco IUS configuration archive in which the configuration files are stored and available for use with the configure replace command can be located on the following file systems. Okay. So it's just saying that you can actually basically uh, replace the current configuration with a backup configuration from one of these file systems. <clears throat> so you have FTP, HTTP, uh, RCP, I don't know what RCP is, TFTP. So I have a example here to create a configuration archive. And I have this topology here. I'm just going to going to go go ahead and create a configuration archive. And of course, you know this is basically from this uh, document. Yeah. So here they're not specifying the. Oh, it's here. Yeah, the path. So in our case, in my example, I'm using a external server or uh, yeah, in that, that's a TFTP server. But in this document, it's just using, they're just using Flash as the uh, location of the configuration, archive configuration. Okay, I'm going to go to configure switch one basically going to just go into config mode and then specify the path so going to use TFTP and then let me just copy and paste this that works and I can specify the maximum uh, number of backup copies. And I think by default, it's 10. Cannot set maximum when backing up to network path. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> so we just have to use the default uh, setting then. Let's try 14. Yeah, it's not allowing us to set the maximum if we are backing up, backing up the file or the configuration file to a uh, network path, or in this case, uh, TFTP server. And time period is its default is zero. But I'm actually not, I can either just do that. Oh, it's not allowing us to do it either. Oh, one, okay. Time period, because here, it says here that it's actually, um, where is it? The minutes argument specifies how often a minutes to automatically save an archive file of the current running configuration in. Okay. Uh, to automatically save an archive. Okay, I'm not gonna do that because I'm actually gonna do this. It's write memory. So this is basically uh, 
so we can automatic backup the generation of uh, the backup automatically backup the config so that I'm gonna do yeah it works don't know how to do that and end and save so now I can actually verify let me do still saving still saving come on yeah it's taking a while so yeah this is the command that you can use to verify the archive files so archive bad file number that's not good oh, okay I got it cause the yeah that makes sense uh, uh -huh, that's good so oh yeah here we can see that the the default is max is 10 so that's fine I can just put that here 10 that was correct default and then this doesn't work because uh, we are doing this external uh, path which is this is not gonna this is not I mean this doesn't really exist right so this is just a dummy IP address but uh, that is actually fine let me see if I can just let me see if I can just do this instead just so I can try this path uh, so path feature archive okay and then path okay that works and let me do show archive yeah so the external external path is gone and we have this path new path so I'm going to do the command again let me save the config okay show archive oops show archive okay now we see that the configuration is saved to this file and I can verify that by going to that would be this right yeah so I think you can use more to yeah that works so yeah that's fine I can just <clears throat> yeah I can do that to save to archive config files to a TFTP server okay now we can uh, discuss uh, configuration re replace or rollback the configuration replace privileged exec command provides the capability to replace the current running configuration with any saved configuration file this functionality can be used to revert to a previous configuration state effectively rolling back any configuration changes that were made since the previous configuration state was saved okay so hmm. so we can just try these commands so I can just uh, go to I mean can can just say configure replace so let's see I'm going to see if I can create a loop back here or just a username How about that username test password test <clears throat> okay and save 
So I'm going to do configure. I'm going to go to, I'm going to roll back the config to the recent one that we just did. And yeah, this would be this. Or maybe not. Let's see. Replace. I'm going to use which one? Uh, this one. I'm going to use this one because this is the one that don't that doesn't have the username and password. And then list. If you enter Y, if you are sure you want to proceed. This will apply all NES or additions and deletions to replace the current, okay, which is assumed to be a complete configuration, not a partial configuration. Okay, I can enter a yes. Okay, pass one list of rollback commands. So no. Yeah, so now uh, if I do uh, username, I will not. I should not see that username test and password test. Yeah, it's not here. Because we're all back to the command, I mean, configuration that doesn't have that uh, local account. Okay, that works. Uh, and you can also specify the, I mean, a time. And you can just do this as well. All these are in this document. So this just means that you can specify a time to replace the config running configuration with this one here. And you can issue this command to just to revert to the current configuration if you don't wanna basically abort abort the this uh, this command that you just uh, entered or issued. And this here is, you just confirm it. And comparing two configuration files. So you can actually compare uh, two different configuration files. So let me see if I can do this. Show archive. and then differences. So I I can do this. Uh, this one. No, this one. And this one. Yeah, so compare plus Oh, okay. Let me do that the other way around. Cause show archive config differences, differences. So this is the one that don't have a password, right? I mean a local account. And this one, so if I do this first, if I put that file name there and do this after, I bet this will be minus. Oh, that's not right. Yeah, he missed the should put all the direct, I mean the whole path. Archive config. So I'm comparing this. Okay, let me do it again with this one. So this one doesn't have a local account and this one does. What just happened? That's not good. Uh, 
Let me do it again. And this one. Okay, yeah, so you are comparing this one here. The old, I mean, look at here, you can just look at the date, I guess. Uh, September 5, what is this? Is this the, uh, it's gonna be the time, yeah. yeah. But I'm just looking at here, so meaning this is, this was done before this one, 59. So here we see plus, and if I do this the other way around, I think we will see minus. Let me do it. Because you are comparing this one, which has a local account with the one that doesn't. Yeah, correct. So yeah, that's how you can compare two configuration files. Uh, example. More example, I will say more example. Okay, and like I said, the best thing about this uh, configuration archive is that every time you do a write memory, it will, it will, I mean, this feature will archive the config. So let's say, so I, I now have three archive files. <clears throat> and if I do write memory again, I will have four. I should have four. Show archive, yeah. So yeah, this is a good way to basically compare your configs. Okay, so yeah and see details here or information about the archive files. So the maximum archive configurations allowed is 10. There are currently four archive configurations saved. The next archive file will be named, yeah, it's good. So arc, let me do this, archive config, archive the running config. Oh. This is another way to uh, archive the running config. Yeah, show archive. Now we have five. <clears throat> okay, that's how you can uh, use archive and configuration. Sorry, that's how you can use configuration archive and configuration replace or all back. And of course, there are, I mean, you can also use this command here to uh, compare to configuration files. I'm going to say how to use, yeah, uh, how to use, yeah, that's better, save. <clears throat> 